Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video will teach you how to copy or download a file or directory from a remote Linux host to the local PC or the currently logged on host. So let's get started. In the previous video, uh, we learned how to copy or send a file or directory to a remote server securely. But in this video, we will do the exact thing from the remote server to the local server or the local PC. Here I am logged into a remote server via SSH using the git bash application. The server's IP address is as shown on the screen. And the server version is Ubuntu 20.04.5 LTS Focal Posa. This is my local computer's git bash terminal. I am currently in the downloads directory. Listing the directory's contents, we can see an ISO image file. I am going to show you copying the file from the remote server's directory to the local computer's downloads directory. Going back to the remote server and listing the contents of the temp site files directory, we can see a directory named wave files. I am going to copy this directory to the local computer. So I go to the local PC's terminal and run scp space hyphen r space remote server's username at ip address or hostname of the remote server colon directory path of the remote server from where the directory will be copied space dot here the dot means the current directory that means the directory named wave files from the given server and the given server's location will be downloaded to the current directory or the downloads of the local PC. As you hit enter, you will be asked the SSS password of the user root in the remote server. Enter the password and hit enter. For your information, the password will not be visible as you type. If you type the credentials correctly, downloading of files on the directory will begin recursively. Ok, the directory is downloaded or copied to the local computer. Next, let's see how to copy a single file from the remote repository to the local computer. For this purpose, we will first create an archive of the directory web files and copy that. In Linux, to archive, the most commonly used tool is tar. So type tar space hyphen cvgf name of the new archive file that will contain the web files directory space the directory name that is to be archive ok the archive is created and if we do ls space hyphen al we can see it this is a type of file now not a directory moving on to the local computer's terminal let's copy the archive file from the remote server to the local server using the scp command type scp for your information hyphen r is not required to copy a single file Type the login details which include username at remote server's IP or hostname, colon the remote server path, space dot as I have already mentioned earlier the dot means the current directory. As you hit enter and type the password correctly the file will be downloaded or copied from the remote server to the local PC. To verify just run ls with hyphen al options. We can see the file downloaded on the downloads folder of the local computer. Also you can verify by opening the file explorer and navigating to the downloads folder. Ok friends, this is how we can copy files from a remote host to a local host or from one remote host to another remote host using the scp command. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.